it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another speed build. Today we are building a small vacation home in the world of Selva Dorado which came with the Sims 4 Jungle Adventure game pack. So I've been mentioning a lot lately that I really want to build something in Selva Dorado and so I decided to do that and I was really in the mood to just build something random. Uh, not look up any inspiration, just enter the game and experiment and see what happens. Uh, so that's what we're doing here today and that would also kind of explain why there's a random stacking like blocks on the ground, like the toddler stacking blocks. I put this down after a while because at first it kind of felt like I was trying to build a house shaped like stacking blocks. So I decided, oh, let's look at that for inspiration. But I uh, completely changed that idea in the end. And we decided to use the new hot tub that came with the anniversary update. So I do put that over here. It gets kind of buried in lots of greenery and we customize it a little bit to make it look more interesting and fit the landscape we're going with. But I definitely made this place super overgrown. It's kind of a mixture of a more traditional style and a modern take on it. I combined a lot of the stuff that we got with Jungle Adventure with just some more modern items in the game. And I really, really like how it came out. It is a weird little build and I had a lot of fun with it. And sometimes it's fun to just open the game and build something with no clear concept whatsoever, <laughs> which I do quite a lot, but I feel like this one was like really random. And I think that's my favorite way to play the game. I've mentioned that before and I do that a lot on stream. I don't really go in with a clear idea. But um, this was a really fun little build to do. I'm not really sure how much it came out to be because it is a vacation home. So you would just be staying here for a few days or whatever if you decided to travel to Selva Dorada to explore the jungle or just, you know, come and stay for a little vacation, have a little honeymoon with your Sims or something here. Because I know at least in previous games, uh, like in The Sims 3 World Adventures, I'd have my Sims travel to the locations just to get away from regular life. I wouldn't really explore the temples and all that. I, I was like, I don't want, I'm not coming on vacation to deal with mummies. I'm here to relax. Maybe, uh, you know, hang out with my significant other for just a romantic vacation or a honeymoon or a family vacation or what have you. But I, I don't want no mummies. Uh, so if you want to stay here, uh, that is definitely an option. Um, or you could explore the tombs and stuff that come with Jungle Adventure. I've only done that once, I think, when the pack first came out. And I remember it being pretty fun. And I played, I think, on stream with my best friend. And we got very sick and poisoned. And it, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I might have to revisit that at some point. Uh, but speaking of streaming, I'm going to be streaming later today at some point. I'm not really sure when yet, but I will post on Twitter and most likely on my community tab, maybe even post like a I'm live video or something like that later. Uh, so if you're interested in coming and hanging out while we uh, continue a build that we worked on last week, I don't know which one we're going to continue yet because we're in the middle of a couple different ones. Um, but uh, I'd love to hang out with you guys over on Twitch and build something together. It could be a really chill way to spend a Saturday evening. Uh, but anyway, back to this build, you can kind of see how we customized the hot tub. I added a little glass roof detail. I think that came with get together maybe. And also had some like greenery growing up the sides. I think that just looks so cute and <laughs> added a little bit more personality to the item. And of course, just adding lots of greenery throughout. And uh, we were going to put these rocks, but I decided to use these rectangular ones instead. And you're going to see me change them up a bunch because I'm trying to make them curve around here and look natural. And it took a while to get it how I wanted it. And I don't know how much of that is on the camera. I think most of it is. But I just kept fiddling with the shape of these, trying to make them look as natural as possible and it just wasn't working <laughs> you could see me moving them quite a bit but I wanted like a pathway from the door to the hot tub area it would also just give me a nice natural way to frame the landscaping there which worked out pretty well in the end I did use a lot of debug landscaping here uh, there are all those rocks and that big tree all of that stuff is from the show live edit objects cheat one of my favorite cheats in the game <laughs> I overuse it for sure um, but here we are adding some lanterns around the walkway and lights outside. I was going to say, what am I doing? <laughs> um, I did work on this build over the last couple of days, just kind of at my leisure as it felt fun. And 
So if I forget what I'm doing at any point in time, it might be because I didn't do it today. Uh, the ending part of this build I did finish this morning, but uh, the rest of it was over the last couple of days. But these are some plants that I decided to put in different planters outside. Those are some decorative pots we got with Jungle Adventure. And I think they work really nice as larger ones. You can put other plants inside. So, you know, you're switching it up and having different planters. Because with like the swatches we have in the game, it can get kind of frustrating with the limited colors and patterns we have. So it's nice sometimes to, you know, change it up in that way. And here we are working on the floor plan. I cut out probably 10 minutes of footage of me trying to figure out where to place these stairs. I figured it out in the end, but I cut out so much footage of it. It was, it was a mess. I had no idea where to put them because I really wanted to have a bedroom that had a functioning bed where you could get to both sides of it which we did not get, unfortunately. You can only get to one side of the bed, but I think it looks pretty cute anyway. And uh, so if you wanna stay in this house, it's gonna be good for a single sim that's gonna come here and explore the jungle. Or if one person wants to sleep on the couch, that's an option as well. Or if you have the option to scoot over in bed and it works for you in your game, you can do that. Cause I know sometimes it works for me and sometimes it doesn't. So uh, it might be able to be two sims in the bed. I'm not really sure, but this is a little kitchen area. I really like how this came out because I decided to go with some different colors and I had so much fun with color in this build. I'm using like a lot of greens and yellows, blues and oranges. And I think those color combos are so fun. This kitchen is one of my favorites I've done in a while. I like the yellow stove. I just, there was something about that yellow stove that just made me so happy. So I was really excited to use that. And of course the rug in the kitchen is a swatch of that rug I have never used before, but I actually really, really like it. And then over here we have a table from Cats and Dogs and some chairs from Jungle Adventure. And then we're just adding some blue blinds. You can kind of see there's a lot of pops of color. There's a lot of natural woods in this home with bright pops of color. And I just think it makes the whole place look a little bit more inviting and more fun and perfect for a little vacation home. I tried to keep the clutter to like a minimum it has some obviously because it it's me building this but I like to make things look a little bit lived in but I was trying to keep in mind that this was a vacation home and not to go too overboard so hopefully I did okay with that uh you guys can let me know what you think uh but over here is going to be the living space we're going to just have a couch and then under the stairs there's going to be a little tv area I don't imagine that's the main focus of the person that's here, but I figured it was a nice place to tuck that away in case your Sims do want to go ahead and watch some TV. One thing I did not include in this house that I probably should have, and you guys should totally add if you download this house, is a bookcase because I think that would be really good for some research. Um, but for some reason, I didn't even think of adding that. So oopsies on that. But uh, you guys can add that if you download it. And if you download this house or you would like to download this house, it is available on the Sims 4 gallery. If you search Griffey or the hashtag Miss Griffey, that information is also down below as well as a direct download link. Uh, so you can download it off the gallery website if it is easier for you guys to do that, or at least it all should be up by now. If it's not up on the gallery ever, like if I ever say, oh, this is on the gallery and then it's not, please let me know and I will upload it because occasionally I do forget. Um, but anyway, we are finishing up the living space. I believe I stuck with this lamp. That's this, um, kind of like tree trunk coming, not tree trunk, but like a branch coming out of the wall or floor. It's, it's, it's wooden. It looks like a tree. <laughs> I think it's really cute and I feel like I've been using it a lot lately. I, I can't even think of what the other build I used it in is, but I feel like I used it recently other than there and I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, there was also this weird thing where I couldn't push the bed any closer to the wall. It would just fall downstairs. So I decided to line it with these little poofs. So I thought that looked kind of cute and different and uh, you know, just placing down a rug from Island Living and some of these little lamps from bowling stuff. I actually really like these. I feel like I've been using them a lot lately and I just think they just add a little bit of extra personality to builds and they, they're just a pretty decorative piece that are very simple. They're lighting, but they don't look horrible in my opinion. I don't know. I think they're cute. I would uh, use those kind of things in my own home, although I really am into more industrial looking stuff. So it's... It's kind of a toss up. I, I never know what kind of lamps and stuff to get for my house. We've been in our apartment for a year now and we still haven't made a decision on lamps for our bedside tables because we are so indecisive and sometimes we find things and we're like, oh, this would be cute, but then it's too big or 
I don't know. It's just very indecisive, but we do keep leaning towards industrial looking lamps. I don't know why I'm talking about lamps in my bedroom right now. You guys probably don't care about that, uh, but we are into the bathroom in this build now, the only bathroom, uh, and we kind of made our own shower using the wall unit that we got from uh, Discovery University. I always want to call it university life. It bothers me so much that it's not called university or university life and that it, it has a word before university. And I'm probably never going to get over that. But I kind of made a, our own shower in here. I think it came out really pretty. It's like orange colors using a variety of tiles. And it's just really cozy. And I feel like it fit the theme I was going for very, very well. Uh, very simple bathroom. But I think it, it gets the job done. And I think it's so nice that we can kind of make our own showers now with that new item because I get so tired of that shower tub combo. Uh, the one downside of this shower, though, is you can't woohoo in it. I feel like they should just... Do, they should change that because they can just like make a cloud come around you kind of like how the sauna happens do that first shower woohoo in open showers please because we can make such nice showers with this new object so not being able to woohoo in it kind of sucks uh, but anyway we are adding a balcony outside because I realized I wanted to have a place to put the research table or the archaeology yeah the archaeology table um, because you probably want to be using that if you are here visiting Salvadorada. But that's pretty much it. We're going to be coming to the end of the video here shortly. I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all soon. Bye, everybody.